Hello everyone, I'm Gwyn Pitkar from class 10 and today we are going to discuss about digestive system. First of all, what is digestive system? Can anyone of you answer? Alright, uh, it is a process of the breakdown of complex force molecules into simple smaller molecules. This process is known as digestion. Now, digestive system is divided into two parts, which is alimentary canal and digestive glands. We will discuss about these later. Firstly, we will discuss about alimentary canal. We ingest food from the mouth, then it goes to buccal cavity, then to the esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and lastly, ends. Now, this is mouth from where we ingest food. Here is buccal cavity, and the food goes down to esophagus. Now, can any one of you tell me what is this? Stomach. Stomach. Then it goes to small intestine, then to large intestine, that's the rectum and Right. Mouth, this is from where, first we will discuss about mouth. This is from where we ingest food. It is the uppermost opening of the digestive system. We ingest food from our mouth. Then comes buccal cavity. Buccal cavity is a small is a space surrounded by uh palate, uh, palate throat on the downside and jaws on the side. It has salivary glands. It also has salivary glands. Now the Kamal Preet Singh is going to tell you about pharynx. Pharynx are the common pathway of the food and when the where the food from pharynx goes to esophagus and when the move when the tracheum. Now the sister explain about esophagus. It is a straight muscular tube about 20 cm long. It helps in passage of food from trachea to stomach by relaxation and concentration. Now, I would like to call Ms. Carl to tell us about the stomach. Stomach is a J-shaped muscular bag. It lies below the diaphragm. The walls of the stomach contain various gastric, uh, various gastric glands which secrete various uh, various gastric juices like hydrochloric acid which kill the uh, which kill the germs from the food and help in the digestion of food. Now just will tell us about small intestine. Small intestine. Its length is about 6.5 meter. It also helps in the absorption and assimilation of food. The inner lining of the intestine is produced and the finger-like projection really, really increase the surface area for the absorption. So the absorption is done in the small intestine. Now, Kim will discuss about large intestine. Large intestine is wider than small intestine. It is 1.5 meter in length. The undigested food from small intestine goes to the large intestine and the water is absorbed from undigested food by large intestine. Then, large intestine passes the undigested food into the rectum where it stores for some time and is expelled out through the anus. So, it's all about alimentary canal. 